Have you ever spent an eternity looking for a font to use for a design, just endlessly scrolling through Illustrator or DaFont, looking for that perfect font, only to stop and think, this is pointless. I I'm never gonna find a font that I like. The perfect font just doesn't exist, not until I make it myself. First of all, that's just nonsense. I mean, there are thousands upon thousands of fonts out there. Chances are you're gonna find something that suits your needs but it probably costs money. Good fonts tend to cost money, and if you're like me, you'd much rather take a crack at it yourself and make your own font. So that's what we're gonna do today. Today I'm gonna show you how to make your own custom font. I'm gonna be honest here, I've never made a font in my life. I mean, why would I need to? I mean, there are there thousands are, there upon are, thousands, thousands of fonts thousands. out there. So this will be my first time actually trying this. And I'm gonna try it two ways. One, by hand drawing every letter, and two, by manipulating an existing font to make it my own. It's time to go old school, kids. Back in ancient times, they used to call this a pencil, which was used in conjunction with this thing called piper. People used to use these things to write with. So we're just gonna go ahead and write out our font just by drawing out every letter, uppercase, lowercase, any punctuation we want to include. Just write it out however you want. You could try it with a pen or marker to give it a different feel. Get crazy with it, experiment. After that, you're gonna take a picture of it or scan it into the computer and bring that into Photoshop. Here, I'm just adjusting the levels to give it a little more contrast. Now, to convert this into our font, we're going to use a website called Calligrapher. There are a number of websites that you can do this with, but I like this one because it's free. Just download one of their templates and bring that into Photoshop as well. From there, you'll start bringing your handwritten letters into the template. To do this, I'm selecting them one at a time with the selection tool, and then I copy and paste. After that, you'll save the template and upload it to the website. And after that processes for a little bit, bam, you've got your own font. Go ahead and test that out. Every letter, every number, every punctuation mark. Just see what it looks like. If you need to make any adjustments, you can always redraw a letter and go back and fix the font. Uh, I think this works fine, but obviously it works a lot better if you're more comfortable with hand lettering. If you're not, then perhaps option two would work best for you. So now let's try taking an existing font and changing it up a little bit in Illustrator. For this, I'm just gonna go through my fonts and pick something I think that I can alter. I'm just gonna go with something simple, Arial. So with that, I'm gonna type out every letter that I wanna use, and then I'm going to expand that type. And after that, I'm just gonna make any adjustments I want to each letter. I find the best way to do this is by using the direct select tool and just start moving points around. You can also grab the pen tool and add to each letter by creating new shapes and adding them to the ends. You know, whatever you think looks good, we're essentially just using the existing font as a base to build on. Once you finish those letters, go ahead and bring out a new template and do the exact same thing we did before. Just start pasting them in there. After that, we can upload that new template to Calligrapher again, let it do its thing, and voila, another new font. And that's basically it. 
couple of pretty easy ways to make your own font. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you guys next time.